Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Tesla coils, how they work, and how you can build one yourself with just a few household ingredients. And here's the schematic for one. We can break it down into just six main parts. The power supply, spark gap, primary coil and capacitor, and the secondary coil, and toroid, which acts as a very small capacitor, and this is where all the sparks come out. So this is the basic setup. It's powered off your household, 120 volts. That feeds into the high voltage transformer which charges up the primary capacitor bank up to about 15,000 volts. When that happens, the air in the spark gap breaks down, allowing all that energy from the capacitor to discharge into the primary coil. That energy then wirelessly transmits to the secondary, and the voltage there builds up higher and higher until the air can't hold in all the electrons that are in the top load, and those escape in the form of sparks. The primary capacitor is kind of like this hacksaw blade, which is pretty springy. It can store up energy and release it later. And any inductance is like any mass in the system. It adds inertia. It makes things harder to start and harder to stop. So this system that I have here pretty closely resembles what's going on in the Tesla coil. On one side, we have the primary circuit, which has a lot of capacitance or a lot of springiness and very little inductance, so not that much mass. And on this side, we have the secondary circuit, which has a lot more inductance, and it's shorter, so it's a lot stiffer, meaning it has less capacitance. When the Tesla coil turns on, it starts charging up the primary capacitor, and eventually the voltage breaks down the air in the spark gap, which releases all that energy, and the primary circuit starts oscillating at its resonant frequency. So if things aren't tuned well, basically nothing happens. The secondary doesn't oscillate very much. But if we have our components tuned right, like when I adjust the lengths of these blades, then we get something called resonance. And with each swing, more and more energy flows from the primary to the secondary, and this is what generates the huge voltages. In this slow-mo shot, you can see that the secondary steals so much energy from the primary that the primary almost stops oscillating. Come on, Steve, you're waiting for you. Oh, I don't know what you use. Why can't we just hang around here for a while today? You can help me paint and we can listen to some good music. It'll be fun. Is that your idea of fun? I want to be with people. Oh. Break a 
promise, would you? Why not? Well, I won't. I'm not going to let George down, even for you. Thank you. 